we're going to take a look at the uh, first question in the 8th grade park practice test unit 3. Two different proportional relationships are represented by the equation and the table. So you have proportion A, which is y equals 9x, and proportion B, which is given in a table. Play with it in the hallway, Anya. Use the drop-down menus to complete the sentence comparing the rates of change of the proportional relationships. So let's talk a little vocabulary here. Proportional relationship means that you have a linear relationship that starts at the origin. So it has a y-intercept of 0, comma, 0. The next vocabulary word, rate of change, this is just the slope. So you have a linear relationship with a y-intercept of 0, comma, 0, and we need to compare the slopes. Well, clearly this, uh, the rate of change, or slope, is 9 for proportion A. But for proportion B, it's not quite as simple because we have a table and they, uh, I'm about to sneeze, and they have a rate of, uh, they have the x values going up by 3 and then 2 and then 3 again. Over in the y column, you have a rise between 0 and 34.5 of 34.5 and we can continue all the way through. Now you know that slope is equal to rise over run. So we have a rise of 34.5 and a run of 3. And because this is a calculator section, I am able to pull up a calculator. All right. And so let's go ahead and do 35.5. Oh, 34, shoot. Um, so I need to clear this. 34.5 divided by 3. And so we have a rate of change of 11.5. All right. So the rates of change in proportion A is... confused. Ah, so obviously 9 isn't here, and in here it says more or less. So in this case we know it's less because 11.5 is bigger than 9, but how much less? Well 11.5 minus 9 is 2.5. It was a little... Where is the that was easy button? That was easy. All right. Let's take a look at the second question. All right. <clears throat> Next question. In the coordinate plane shown, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A prime B prime C prime, and triangle A prime B prime C prime is similar to triangle A double prime B double prime and C double prime. So clearly, before we look at the question, we have a reflection about the line x equals 1 to go from our original to our first. And then <coughs> we have now we have another reflection and a dilation. And remember, a dilation is the only transformation that will make a shape that is larger or smaller. And it says, describe a single transformation that shows that triangle A prime B prime C prime is congruent to triangle A B C. Include all necessary information to complete the transformation. All right, so let's go ahead and type it out. We're char charging a remote control car, which is really important. There you go. All right. So <clears throat> we know. Let's go back to our drawing. So we're trying to, to talk about the transformation that goes from here to here. And 
clearly this is a reflection, and we are reflected about this line. So it, we are being asked uh, to describe the single transformation. So the single transformation that tran translates triangle ABC into A prime B prime C prime is a reflection about the line x equals 1. And that, okay. So it wants a 1 here, so I will give it the 1 right there. And I'll get rid of that one. Period. Reflections do not change the size of a shape so I know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A prime B prime C prime and that's pretty much all you have to do because we are saying exactly what transformation it will get it there and that reflections do not create shapes that are bigger or smaller. Let's go on to problem B. Describe a sequence of transformations that shows that A prime B, A double prime B, double prime C double prime is similar to triangle A prime B prime C prime. Include all necessary information to complete each transformation. Now this one is a little more challenging because <coughs> we have not only a reflection but then a dilation. So I would, it, it, it appears as though we had a reflection or about the x-axis. So, <coughs> and so if I were to do that, it would end up right here, okay. And then we dilated the figure from this point here because th these two points are common to each other. So therefore, the point of dilation has to occur right here because that point doesn't move. And how much bigger was it? Well, the original shape is 3, and now the new shape is 2. We went from 2 to 4. So we have a s scale of dilation of 2. All right. So we have a reflection about the x-axis and then a skylation, uh, dilation at uh, centered at 0, 3, negative 3, and it, the scale is 2. So let's go ahead and type that. And I've lost my cursor. There's my cursor. OK. To transform figure a prime, b prime, c prime into a double prime, B double prime, C double prime. We first reflected figure A prime, B prime, C prime about the x axis. We then dilated the reflection from point from says that's it we can, well from point um, zero comma negative three with a scale factor of two and there we have it